this session, we're going to go through how to add images to the Tats Nails Imager. It's pretty straightforward. You'll need to go to the support website and download the software. Once you do, you'll see uh, an icon that says wherever you download it at, it'll say uh, NAD. And that's a software and it has a, it's blue with a white E. Okay, you're going to open that up. And now this does not default to English, so you, you have to select it and it will not remember your setting. It always selects Chinese. Okay, now the do it yourself here, um, you're going to see that is the DIY area. That is where we actually. Um, you can add a large image like you've seen in the do-it-yourself area so you can select parts of it. And then there's um, this tool down here. It's not supported yet. I'll let you know when it is and what it does because I don't know what the plan for it is. Then we're going to work on, um, oh yeah, the version. Make sure you're using the correct version. The old version was 1.0.0.0. So you want this version or higher. We're going to work with standard design. So let's click on that. Now, off to the left, you're going to recognize these masks. You should see them on your system. Okay, You can use them at any time to help create your design. I'm going to go back to the default here. Then down below here, these are actually images you can overlay on it. Okay, And we'll, I'll show you a good way of using them. The icon right up here is where you add a pick. This this is where you actually add images, logos, whatever you're trying to do, okay? Next is save. Save has changed quite a bit, so we're going to cover that in just a few minutes. Now add test. This text. This is probably the biggest improvement and best. This is awesome. You can actually, any font you have on your system, you can use to create text on the nail. It really is great, okay? Now this unnamed here, don't worry about it. Uh, all I know is that every time you press on it, the application closes. So if you've done any work and it's down below, if you've captured it but you haven't saved it yet, you will lose it. So don't click on the unname as I don't know what its function is and you will lose any work you've been doing. Okay. Next is the background. You can change the background color. I'm going to go with white because we know white doesn't print. Okay. So it always comes up with gray. I'm not sure why but I always change it to white. Okay. Then we have a delete pick, which you've seen me use, and you're going to see me use it some more here. Okay, when something's selected. And then uh, org. This here is really where you can, once you it put something back to its default, okay, uh, how it was loaded. Then you got your brightness, saturation, hue, contrast, size. Size is really nice if your mouse has a wheel on it. All you got to do is scroll up and down on the image and it will size it. And that's per item, not necessarily per image. Okay? And not for the entire nail, it's just what you're working with. And I'll show you that. Okay? Then I'm going to jump down here and you're going to see parts color. All right. And yes, each individual item you can that you add on here, you can change the color. Okay? And then capture and delete capture, which we'll cover in a few minutes. <coughs> All right, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to create my own nail here uh, without using any anything imported, just the tools here. So we're going to do Tats Rocks, and I got to find a font here that I really like. So give me just a second. There's one down here I really like. No. It's kind of like the old type fonts. One second, I remember. There we go. I kind of like this the old type uh, typeface. Now you see it's huge. Don't worry about it. You just use that mouse or use the size over there, and it'll shrink it down. Now you see how that's at an angle there, uh, the box around it. Don't worry. That's just the software doing that. Now we're going to change the angle. And you can see I can slide it, or I can just type it in. I'm going to just type in 90 because that's what I want. It's a little easier to do if you know the exact angle you want. <coughs> okay. I'm going to change the text color. Now, as tats, I should be picking silver, but 
I have a white background. It's not going to show up that well, so I'm going to just pick the blue here. I like this blue. Then we're going to add a couple other things I really like. This is pretty quick and easy, very easy to deal with. Change the color here. Do one more. Great. Okay, now I, there's a butterfly in here I really like. It's pretty cool looking, I think. Rotate it here another 90 degrees. Boom. Change the color. And there you go. Okay. Get everything positioned right. Nice and balanced. Okay, awesome. Now, when you're ready, after you've got everything in place and looking like you want, you just click Capture and you see it goes down below. Now, I'm going to change the background here and do some tests and capture them. And, uh, um, so you can see. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think so. I don't like that one. Let's go with the yellow. That's pretty bright. It's kind of nice. Okay. And we'll do dark purple. All right. So you see I got several here. Now if you also select one and you don't want it, all you have to do is hit delete capture. Okay. And it removes it from the bottom. Okay. All right. Now, okay. Two clean this off you have to go through and remove each item okay to start over there's no one way of doing this you have to kind of manually reset it back for each nail you want to do so here I'm going to add a picture and there's this cute little koala <coughs> I really love using him in, on these nails I'm going to turn him to 90 degrees because I can get a little bit more of him on here and the picture just fits better when I do it so we'll go 90 degrees. Well, I could go all the way to 180. You, you can uh, you can go 360 and go all the way around, but that doesn't do you any good. So I'm just gonna go back to 90 here and kind of center him, shrink him up a little bit. Let's see, right about there. Yeah, I kind of like this guy. He's cute. Okay, that's good. Now, when you're doing pictures, you're just going to have to, you know, kind of get to fit the best here. There's a ribbon I like. We're going to put it on this. Well, we're going to say girl now. Change the color here to a nice purple lavender. Boom. Great. Now, that's all set up. And we just going to now capture it. So that's how you do it. That's pretty uh, straightforward. And I'm going to do another one here without the ribbon. And then we save it. Now just ask where you want to save it. And I always select desktop and hit OK. That's going to create an Art Pro folder over here. And inside there is everything you need. Now this is asking me if I want to open up that folder and look at what I saved. I'm going to say, yeah, sure. Let's take a look. Okay. Now, creates an auto folder, and then these BMPs you're not going to be able to view. They encode them differently now, but you can look at the icons. This is actually what gets displayed on the screen, and you can see all those got exported right there. Okay. And what's nice is uh, you don't have to worry about the numbering of these anymore. It'll auto number them when you select the folder to put them into. Okay. So if you are doing several sets and you want to put them in different folders, you're going to want to go through this. Uh, you're going to want to do it in different sessions. You don't want to do it all at once because when you plug into the machine, it's going to ask you where you want to put them. Okay. So that's it. That's the majority of it here. Um, then what you do is you copy this Art Pro uh, folder over to your USB drive. Let me stick my USB drive in here and pull it up and I already have an Art Pro update so I'm going to rename it because I did some other work in here and I don't want to lose it or this one I can delete I guess it's older 
Now I drag this over and I'll and just drag it right onto the F drive. Once the files are done copying into the USB drive, pull the drive out and put it into the TAS imager in the back into the USB port. Then a message is going to come up and ask you if you want to update the system files. Just click yes and then another box is going to come up and say where do you want to put these images. Now here you can see I'm picking higher up. I like keeping my own personal ones um, up in the high numbers and then the factory and what we do we usually keep them in the lower numbers uh, and I like to keep them separate. It makes it easier for me to find my own. Okay, And then when it's uh, done updating you're going to see this little message come up and then you just click OK and you can then go to your folders and you can see your images. They're there. You don't have to reboot or anything anymore with the new software and the new updates. They just show up. All right. Thank you for attending this training. If you have any questions, please give us a holler. Uh, email's the best at service at tatsnails.com. Thank you very much.